If you open a book on uh, talking about PDAs, you will not see uh, explicitly saying read or push or pop. Instead, you will see a briefer presentation. Uh, and in the next few slides, I'm going to just show you how you can get from the more verbose form that I was showing you in the previous slide, uh, then in a more abbreviated notation, which is what you will see in textbooks. So the first thing you can do is what we've already done in NFAs, which is replacing skip by epsilon, right? So as we know, in an FA, whenever we want to rewrite epsilon, that means we're skipping the input, we're not reading it. So the first thing we could do is just replace skip by epsilon, skip by epsilon, skip by epsilon here as well. Okay, the next thing you can do is um, omit, because the first position is always reading, right? So here we're reading A and here we're reading A. Um, read can only appear here. So if we just omit it, everyone should know that the first position is to read. We can omit it altogether. And now we have just A and B. And that means read B and then pop or push. Next thing we can do is we can omit pop and push. Why? Because pop always appears on the left hand side and push always appears on the right hand side. So if we omit it, um, because of the order, we know if it's here, it means read. If it's here, it means push. And if it's here, it, it means, uh, sorry, if first one means read, second one means pop, third one means push. Actually, I forgot these two. I will fix it in the slides. So finally, what we can do is replace empty question mark by dollar sign. It's just any character would do. You could do it with a little star or a. It just has to be a character that is different from all the others. You have to have a special, uh, not special, a unique character to represent the bottom of the stack. So let's call it instead of empty question mark, let's just write a dollar sign. Now we have something that is closer to what you would see in a textbook. <clears throat> 